the wild. The weaver. And the worm. Three primal forces from which the world Gaia springs. The wild is creation, formless and abundant. The weaver shapes, making order out of chaos. The worm, whose purpose was to destroy the old, to make room for the new, went mad. Now, a force of corruption, feeding on greed, malice, and hate. It ravages Gaia. Through its unwitting accomplices, mankind, the balance between those three forces is long gone now. Insidiously, the worm gains more and more ground every day. Vitalized by the damage humans have brought to the Earth. We, the werewolves, remain. Born of man, beast, and spirit. We are the vindication of Gaia and the Wild. They should be ready now. The best way to get Indra out of the region is to attack their bottom line. We have a plan to convince them there's no profit to be had here. Ludmilla, if you please. I've recently gained access to the system that controls all the on-site oil pumps. That's our target. We tamper with the pumps and send dummy data to the system to make them think their oil field has run dry. Will that really be enough? According to the internal files I got my hands on, they treat unprofitable sites like gangrenous limbs. They'll give this one the chop right away. I don't know. Even if we do manage to push them out, they'll only set up somewhere else. We need to hurt them, bring them down, not chase them away. We've already talked about this, Kahal. They're too close to the cairn. If we stage an attack, they'll look for the ones who did it. I don't want Indran's eyes on our home. Our best option is to work in the shadows. But if something goes wrong, my wife ends up on her own in enemy territory. I don't like it. I'm going to be fine, Call. We've been preparing this for weeks. We've calculated the risks. And if there's any sign of trouble, you and I go in and retrieve her. But I'd rather we stay covert. Ludmilla will have the easiest time on her own. I'm heading out. I want to be done before daybreak. Take care of Adana while I'm away. I think she's going a little crazy all cooped up in here. Don't worry, I'll talk to her. You just focus on your mission. Call. I've got this. I love you. See you soon. Endrin, one of the most destructive companies North America has to offer, known for their violence and endless greed. If we left them to their own devices, they'd ravage this place till there was nothing left but dust. We've been stuck in this cave for weeks studying Endrin's movements. At least now we finally got a plan. I hope we're done here soon. I don't like thinking that Ludmilla's on her own, Rodko. I understand. She's my sister, remember? And she's Adana's mother. I should be out there with her. I gave it a lot of thought. Her chances of success are better if she's alone. It's as simple as that. If things don't go as planned, you can tear through as much Endrin scum as you like to get her out. But for now, we stay put. Go. Rest while we wait. Not looking forward to packing all this up tomorrow morning. 
What do you think, old friend? <laughs> yeah, that makes two of us. I'm not too keen on this plan. David did an impressive job installing all this. I'll have to thank him for this later. Got everything squared away? Not a lot to square away. All I'm doing is pressing a button once Ludmilla gets me hooked up. Still got a ways to go before I can do much more than that. If I tried to breach their network, they'd be on us in a second. Don't be so hard on yourself. You're ten times better at hacking than me or Rotko with your eyes closed. Just give it time. Besides, you installed all of this on your own. Have faith in your abilities. I know, I know, but... Thanks. A little pep talk never hurts. But how are you doing? Talk to your daughter yet? No, not yet. I'm just heading her way. Hey, how you doing? I'm bored out of my mind. There's nothing to do here, and it's wet and miserable. We're not on vacation, Adi. We're here for Gaia, for the Cairn, and you're here to learn how we do things. I know, but couldn't I have learned how we do things back at Tarker's Mill? It's not like you've got me helping out with the mission or anything. Try connecting with the spirits. Feel their presence around you. The pain and dreams causing them. That connection makes you a Garu. I'm trying. Believe me. But I just can't. Don't worry. It's always harder before your first change. And if the change never comes, if you're human, like your mother, that's fine. She may not feel the spirits, but she's the finest infiltrator we have. Why didn't you go with Mom anyway? She's all alone out there. If something happens to her... I wish I could've. But Rodko wants us to keep a low profile. And there's no one better at that than your mom. <laughs> Rodko's a dumbass. Hey, that's your uncle you're talking about. And the leader of our pack. You know it's his job to make those decisions. Everything will be alright, don't worry. Try to focus on the spirits. We'll be leaving this place soon. Shit. Kahal, wake up! We're gonna need you. A helicopter just touched down on the site's landing pad. Apparently it's some Endron exec. Their presence has shaken things up. Tell me Ludmilla's okay. She's okay. They've still got no idea she's on site. But their guard patrols have changed, and certain areas are locked down. And that includes the one Ludmilla's in. So what's the plan now? The mission's sunk. We go in there, get her out, and wait for things to quiet down. But to get her off site, the locked-off areas need to be manually unlocked. And Ludmilla's stuck on the wrong side. Shit. Fortunately, she has already secured a terminal. She'll guide you to her location over the radio. Go now. Bring her back. There's no time to waste. My sister needs you. Ludmilla, I'm on my way. Remember, stay out of sight. I'll open any door I have access to through their network. I've opened all the external ducts. Ava? There's gotta be a terminal close by. Find it. Oh, and uh, deactivate any cameras you see while you're at it.
guards. Ludmilla, we've got a lot of company. The arrival of the Endron exec has changed their setup. Tell me where you are. I'm looking at the southern part of the outer fence. And a shit ton of guards. There's no way I'll be able to make a move without being seen. Southern part of the outer fence. Got it. There. That should trap him for a few minutes. But if a guard does see you... He won't live long enough to raise the alarm. They sold their souls to Endron. They don't get no any mercy. Hell of a time for a malfunction. I'll go check it out. Wanted fixed and fast. Some big shot just arrived on site. Folks upstairs. <coughs> I'm in the refinery. Perfect. I'm not far now. Nearly at the passageway leading into it. Shit! Something's following me. What is it? I think it's a black spiral dancer! He's... But Miller, just hold on. Fuck! Rodko. I heard. No more sneaking around. We fight. Now go! I'll meet you with Rafiq. I'm done fucking around. unit right now!
more men! No! Please, no! Listen to me! Oh, damn it! No. You need to fight the rage. Oh, it's Rafid! Stop it! No! What have I done? Rafik? There's no time to mourn. We need to go. Just reported back to base. Not that there's anything to report. No kidding. Though I guess we've got a special guest coming tonight. Yeah, an Endron rep, no less. She should be here soon. You know they're hiring, right? Think you'd ever make the move to Endron? Hey! What the- All clear, Dusk. We're good to go.
Five years ago, I abandoned the woods of Tarker's Mill. I abandoned my cairn. Endrin killed my wife. I gave in to rage. The worm touched my soul. I had to leave my daughter. It was the hardest decision I ever made. And in other news, Andrin is joining the fight against global warming. The energy company today announced that their new biofuel will be hitting the market soon. This revolutionary new formula will be unveiled alongside the opening of their new headquarters in... This exile was my only choice. I had become a danger to my pack. I often wonder what's become of them. Of Rodko, of Ava, of Adi. This is the closest I've been to Tucker's Mill in five years. How much time do we have before they notice the guards on the outside have gone quiet? They report in by radio every hour. That's our deadline for getting our hands on the explosives and getting out of here. Let's go through the plan again, just to make sure everything's clear. You've got to swap the delivery label on the crate of explosives intended for Ender. You do that, and they'll load us up with smiles on their faces. All you've got to do is open the gate to their delivery bay for me. I'll create a diversion while you're exchanging the labels. Got it. We'll have to play it tight, though. One hiccup and the plan folds through. We'll have you sneak around back by their storage facility. Security should be pretty thin there, especially if you go through the ventilation docks. What do your clients intend to do with them anyway? The weather stormers? They're planning on blowing up a big Magadon pharmaceutical plant. Good fucking riddance. I know Magadon's methods. They're the scum of the earth. And guess what? These explosives were originally headed to Endrin, another megacorp of assholes. Stealing from them is just icing on the cake. All right. I'm off. Hey, before you go, are you sure you're up for this, man? You seem kind of stressed out back in the truck. I'm fine. Come on, we've got a job to do. Right. If you need me, I'm just a chirp away. Good luck, brother. <laughs>